El Paso, located in the desert of extreme western Texas along the Rio Grande River. Shielded by mountains on three sides, El Paso is rewarded with more than 200 clear days of sunshine annually in a dry climate, making it possible to enjoy most outdoor activities year-round, including football. It is home to 606,526 people who love football. Unfortunately, they don't have a team to cheer for. Oh wait. Instead of watching their football team, they do things like go to the Plaza Theater, Museum of Art, the El Paso Zoo, anything to get away from watching their football team. After a 1-11 season in 2019, the Utah Miners fired their head coach. But who in their right mind would take over for a team this crappy and with about zero fan base, you ask? Peyton Manning changed the game. Peyton Manning seems to break records every other time he gets the football. And a terrific throw. Peyton Manning just a machine. That's right, Peyton Manning, the winner of two Super Bowls. Only one counts, though. He is said to be the greatest quarterback in the history of the NFL. Can he take over this team and make them great? Let's ask Peyton. I wanted to be a part of that, watch that. So we start here, 2020-2021 season, new coach, same team, same crappy situation. Let's see if the greatest quarterback of all time can translate his GOAT quarterback play to the coaching aspect. Let's introduce our team. First, our quarterback, Gavin Hardison. With a 66 overall, we will be having a tough time with the leader of our offense. With a 74 throw power and 70 throw accuracy, we may have to rely on our run game. Second, our running back, Dion Hankins. A 77 overall with a speed rating of 79, he will be carrying the load of this team. Third, our receiver, Justin Garrett. He is our slowest receiver, but with the overall of 81, he is the best on the squad. And for our defense, first, our strong safety, Justin Prince. A 73 overall with 68 man coverage rating and a 73 zone coverage rating. Man 2 will be our friend this season. Second, our two corners, Josh Caldwell, 79 overall with 88 man coverage and 85 zone coverage, and Varenzo Holmes, a 71 overall, 79 man, and 74 zone. And third, our left end, Josh Ortega, a 75 overall with 86 power move and 86 block shedding. But the best player of all, our thick with four C's, punter, Joshua Sloan. 73 overall, 77 kick power, 71 accuracy, and a weight of 255 pounds. Now that we have met the stars of the squad and the new head coach, let's get into building UTEP into a true dynasty. Now that we're in the game, let's look at the coach skill tree. Um, I only had one upgrade for Peyton Manning, the head coach, and I put that on the scouting. So we can start scouting because we're definitely going to need scouting because we do not have any good players on our team right now. And with that, we only have one upgrade for our defensive coordinator, Mike Cox and Mike Canales. Which I put those both on the stamina and the health of our defense and our offense. If we look at our pipeline states, it looks like our two pipeline states right now are Texas and California, which we have... 36 from Texas and 19 from California and hopefully we can add more pipeline states because we definitely are going to need that Right now it looks like we're going to be needing some defense and a little bit of offense And if we go to the interest level and look and see who's interested in us It looks like we only have two but they are three star athletes So let's go ahead and add them to the recruiting board with strong safety we have a two star one star and a two star and We are we have them in interest so we're definitely going to need to go ahead and add them. Our cornerback situation isn't that good either. So it looks like we have a three star, a couple three stars that we can add to the board. Um, so let's add the three stars and maybe a couple of the two stars, but not the ones that aren't that interested in us. We're going to need some more wide receivers. And it looks like we got a couple of three stars that have us first. So let's go ahead and add basically all of those and then let's go to a running back and it looks like we don't really have that many but we do have one three star that we're fifth and it looks like we might be able to move up in front of them and get them and let's go to quarterback and we can yeah we have two three stars so let's just go ahead and add them they just
Hmm. Straight up. But what's this deal breaker? Oh, playing time. So if I, I, I don't know, but he's from Texas, so I'm gonna go ahead and add him. Oh, and then that. Okay, so I can't have a three star, so I'll go with those. Actually, now I'll go with the three stars. They're a little bit more important. <laughs> our strength to schedule is F. Let's change that. So I moved our strength to schedule to B by adding some teams that we're not going to beat. But we're going to start off our team against the number three team in the country, Alabama. And all the ranked teams that we play, we're going to play at their stadium because you know we have to pay them to play and we're definitely going to lose but for the remainder of this dynasty we are going to have three main rivals and that will be texas utsa and texas a&m now they're not the actual rivals in the game but i will make sure that i get them scheduled every single year that we have a game just so we can get a sense of realism in it and UTSA will play every year because we play them in our conference. So in the next episode we'll be playing number three Alabama and as you can tell Lee Corso has already picked Alabama to win which I don't know about that I think we have a chance. No no we don't we're C minus on everything and they're A plus basically on everything but with this uh, dynasty what we're gonna be doing is just playing it out trying to get them better with the recruits and if we start dominating the CUSA we'll move up to either Big 12 or SEC and then hopefully have the aspirations of winning a national championship maybe getting a Heisman player and getting five-star recruits but for now that's going to be the end of this episode and like I said in the next episode we'll be playing number three Alabama and I cannot wait to see y'all in that video peace